Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Hiker and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. We got a desert world, we cleared the Space Hulk, which is cool. And now we're going to this planet, closest to the local sun here. Let's explore a little bit more. I happen to read about this burning world of Pandora. It's said that the fires there have been raging for close to a century. Though no one knows how long it has been burning. Okay, well that's cool. Can we get resources? No. It's called the burning world. Desert world, burning world. Let's go to here. That's the gas world. Looks like a gas planet. Um, okay, we added trophies, and that was it. I thought we could put an extraction here. It's Tithe, uh, great, uh, Y650, but no resources for the Emperor. What the hell is going on? Alright, let's begin this again. This looks like a good planet. There must be someone living here. For starters, we have a holy hand grenade, a crack grenade. Oh, that is a very good grenade. A little bit med kits, that's good. A couple of uh, frag grenades, that looks good. And we got provisions. Fantastic. Now, as you can see, we have adamantine and we have provisions from a jungle world. Currently, there is not much more here. Uh, can we... No, that's fine. Although, maybe we do have better posts. Supreme Commander. Who is best used for that job? I think she is not uh, too bad. Shield officer. We're doing that. And what is the special? Vulnerable scans. The flagship can scan an enemy ship to highlight weak points. Okay, that's pretty good. And what is this? Arc Orgery. Alright, let's do that. All of the officers have really high ranks. I like it that there are a couple of different abilities. Okay, but that is not what I came here for. I wanted to actually manage the worlds because there is, I'm sure there is a bit of cargo management. Hmm, how do we do that? I think we can trade and maybe we can use our gathered resources in trade management in order to get more profit factor that's what i'm thinking and more profit factor would mean we can finally get more loot my biggest gripe with our situation at the moment is we don't have the loot that i want we're still getting our teeth kicked in like the last uh, boss that was not that was uh, very 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 close that was not a dominating performance from us so question of the day would be what's our profit factor 20 and can we hmm can we somehow manage uh, the income. Let me double check that. Okay, I found it. Under quests there are contracts and basically these things is what you know about and uh, it offers three resources and if we complete the contract we're basically getting profit factors. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Well, that's good enough. Uh, we now need to think about what we're doing next because apparently uh, we had the jungle world, uh, we had the desert world, 
the gas world or gas giant here isn't having much more space hulk we're already done with I think Uh, we're already done with, and uh, that means we're back uh, to the overall Coronos expanse because that system that we're currently in is done for. Wow, that's a ginormous map. So. Listen, we can fly down here and then fly up there without needing to improve this. Warp travel is safe. I wish to inform you that the sector at rituals address the spirit of the ship has been performed. Techn uh, the techno liturgy and the rite of the machine blessing ended with a determination in order to comprehend the nature of the miracle sent down by the Omnissiah. How the void ship was able to call upon the power of the machine god and effectuated the warp drive remains unknown yet during the meditative ritual the omnissiah gave me an equally valuable revelation the sacred spill lives in the bowels of the ship mechanism differs from the analogous forms spirit holds a unique power call anything less than a blessing of uh, the machine power that means in extremis the ship spirit is capable of making unpredictable calculations and actions it is impossible to predict how uh, they behave. Given the situation, I believe that the spirit is currently showing obedience, at least for now. I recommend that we continue the morning. Thank you, Pascal. All right. And we're safely warp traveling to here. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Uh, just wait a second. I think we could make a scan here. Every new system allowed us to do one. Do one for chart new routes. Bam. Nothing. But we're getting another navigator's inside. So I think we're afterwards going back. We're improving this route and we're going to Trinitos from Furbinius. Okay. Sounds like a plan. But let's visit the system first. I'm slowly but surely getting the hang of all of that. Uh, got pirates here. Interesting. Some space dust. More space dust and the sun. Hmm. Okay. Does that mean we're uh, this here is aggressive? Hmm. It was a red corridor, maybe it means that it's a ship battle. All stations, report when manned and ready. Oh wow, we're fighting against three destroyers, Hull Integrity. Uh oh, well that's not good. Yeah, I know how it works. Thank you for mentioning it. My Double lance weapon. I like that. Okay, well, hmm. we have extra options, torpedo control, not really, we could restart the shields, but I think we're okay. Couple of hits on our side.
Restart the shields. Very nice uh, hit. That Cobra class destroyer is looking injured. All right, shield's gone. Emperor, protect us. Uh oh. Yeah, the lance weapons are good, but they are unfortunately... Uh, we do have maneuvering issues here. That guy, however, will come from the back, so we should be fine. And we do have four shields on this side at the moment. Does this your hit? No. Does this? Well, that would hit. Alright, so that's good. We're Steer us to our moving target. slightly to the side. And we cannot restart shields. Not yet. Hit. Charter course. Let this fucker all your efforts, you grogstain. Another victory of two great dynasties, Lord Captain. Fabulous. Well, well, well. It was a close fight. Three pirate ships. But overall, we're, we were doing fine. I think we're... It's actually an okay fight. More production of Plasteel this time. Let's just double check something real quick. Contracts. I was about to say Plasteel. Profit factor. That's fantastic. All right, we're richer than before. I like that. Good, before we're patting ourselves too much on the back, let's see what this ice world has to do. Imperium cartographers and chronicles know this place uh, long well. 
long ago the planet was prosperous output capable of eclipsing even footfall uh, there used to be a, a cyclopean tomb station on its orbit and the final resting place of the Cornelius Soto, one of uh, the discoveries of the Corinus Expanse. The tomb gave its name to the entire, sea, uh, um, the entire system. However, 400 years ago, an unknown cosmic body rammed into the station, causing it to collapse into the planet. Not only did this catast uh, catastrophe kill the settlers, it also made the world completely uninhabitable for centuries. The crater formed the station's impact is still observable from orbit. Yeah, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I thought we could maybe go there and explore it, but uh, that apparently is not the case. Going for some space dust. Yeah, we get plenty of trophies, but that's about it. Unfortunately, you can't really do anything here. The scans are pretty comprehensive, so if you don't find something, there is ten there is a good chance that there is nothing. I haven't really f found kind of any secrets or hidden situations plus it appears that there are no random encounters so that was pretty much it sucks but uh, so is the life of an explorer right sometimes you're finding something sometimes you're not Warp travel. And we do have a very unsafe route to the Imperium, but we do have uh, this here. Making the route safe. Fantastic. Let's warp travel. Permission to report, Lord Captain. I keep receiving messages about strange behavior in certain ship systems. All deck report uncontrollable opening and closing of doors and gates. Uh, they behave erratic uh, and not obey the operator's commands. Regrettably, this had led to uh, casualties amongst the crew. Tech priests have explained that these phenomena are being caused by the machine spirit's irascibility and have spent hours chanting litanies to soothe their anger. Unfortunately, many crew members were badly injured before the prayers could stabilize the system. Yeah, well, bad. That is not good. Ooh, so many more systems. Ah, we potentially should have uh, made that way safer. This here looks like there is a quest uh, there. But for now, let's just uh, visit the system before we warp travel on. Plenty of systems. Unknown ships. That looks like another ship battle to me. My question is, can we scan how many ships there are? This here looks like three ships. This looks like one. Hostile object signature. Hmm. Hmm. And the next question is, do we take the lance weapons, which are dealing a lot of damage, or do we rather take one set of torpedoes? Because I think they are, they are not bad either, just need to play them correctly. Uh, let's test the torpedoes again. Okay, space combat time. Let's go, boys. I have to wonder 
Uh, if we level up, I lift up what do we get from Space Combat? This vessel and its hollowed guns. Oh, wow. What is happening? How can they deal so much damage? Send their souls to the void. The Unforgiven. Unleash a wrath upon my enemies. Hits that thing very well. Them. Destroys their shields. Let destruction pour forth. Almost gets these guys down. And this year in Asia, it's the process. Shields will return to the start of the flex uh, ships next turn, rerouting power to the shields. Okay. Mm, firing rage is reduced, but we're we're going to survive the next turn. Okay, cool. Let's go, boys. Steer us to our target. They are trying to hit the torpedoes, but they are also trying to hit us. No, no, they are clever. They are just directly out of reach. Emblazon our path. Contestant beam scorch our enemies. Okay, one more down. Let the Imperium guide us. And we're okay for now. The destroyer is smaller than we are, so we should be fine. By saying that, appreciating that uh, the destroyer very much is optimizing where it wants to, uh, to stand. Nice little hit with the cannons. If we're moving up here. We're dropping the torpedoes. And we're good. Torpedoes are actually fine. Flying all around. That's good. Torpedo control. Fantastic hit. Good, and we're making sure that we're showing the shield side that is still well protected. They can just not move? I was hoping they would just fly into the torpedoes. Alright, but that's going to be your doomsday. Eat this multi-class destroyer. Nice little trophies. We got a level up, uh, scraps, and we got a Mars pattern micro battery. Oh, 
All right. Uh, we oh we got a sorry, Stygius pattern by a battery with more damage. On port. I like it. We got an upgrade. <laughs> you can level your ship. Hell yeah. All right. A uh, new heading whilst moving the flagship may make its next turn 90 degrees instead of the usual 45. That's not bad. Reinforce shields. That seems good. Already have that feature torpedo control and warp wave. Close of the Emeria, uh, Immaterium causes an enemy ship to immediately turn. The enemy ship has suffered hull damage. This abruptly uh, deals additional damage. That's not bad either, but I think we're going with reinforced shields. Oh, and we got warp weave. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Love it. Yeah, we already have people on our posts. Thank you. Cool. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Got the first planet. With no results whatsoever. Called the Desert World. This here looks like a moon. Alright. No further contracts, but we we do have a lot of plat steel. Also need we need more of uh, those mobile mining platforms. They are pretty good. We only got one extractum. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I didn't want to fight anything. Who are we fighting? Aldari ships? Ugh, neutron torpedoes, that's not good. Uh, that is not good at all. Steer us to our target. Send them into the cold, boys. Send their souls to the void. Emblazon our path. Unleash the storm of macro cannons. Very good. No, let's let the side take most of it. So that when we're hit from the front, the side actually uh, sees reductions. Then you guys Steer fly there. Target. And we're okay for now.
torpedoes. Ah, oh, so close again. Well, we're going to be successful one way or the other. Back shields this time are going to take less of a beating. He's just out of range. Unbelievable. Hmm, what are we going to do? That's that's more like it. Micro cannons annihilate them. Very good hit. And dealing some more damage, plus we're nicely turning them. Let's regain our shields and we're Gucci. Excuse me? Oh, okay. The thing is almost down. I see. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. That's a miss. Okay, not good. Come on, you should have turned a little bit more. Strengthen the shields. Uh, we need to hold on for another round. The void ship's machine spirit cries out in pain. Emblazon our path. Aldari. Congratulations, Lord Captain. That was a close fight. Yeah, we can't fight anymore. We have not enough repair. And unfortunately, we... Yeah. 
I mean, it was a nice upgrade, but I think for now we might need to wait until we upgrade even further. I need a better shield. We're taking too much damage. Lord Captain, we have received a transmission from the Foulstone. It was sent by the member of the Order of the Hammer, uh, Votaris of St. Cognatius, uh, whose monastery was the only settlement on the planet, or rather used to be some time ago a transport vessel in the Navica unloaded several thousand refugees from the planet belonging to the rogue trader Winterscale. The Order of the Hammer has judged this invasion to be an act of aggression and asking your lordship for protection. All right, yeah, sure. We'll take them under our protection. Six or and 11 days after the feast of the passing of Nicomodius Kifi, the champion of the face, this quietude merged the calm of the Monastery of the Order of the Hammer. After the party of uh, the uh, Hectarius turned his eye on the past, uh, searches for instruction. Okay, that's fine. What can we now do? Ah, there we go. Uh, Prelate uh, Hectatius uh, recalled the first mission I set foot, uh, foot on uh, Foulstone's vast wasteland. Later, zeal uh, for the serving Saint Cogatius. Uh, and Saint Cogatius, a man of great endeavor, a warrior and a wise artificer, never uh, cowered behind the walls of the Librarium, but stepped bravely into the darkness, carrying the light in the palm in his hand and his command to others uh, do the same. And not only Foulstone, but many other words of the Coronius expanse bear the imprint. Uh, the brethren and sisters of the Order of the Hammer came forth to meet strangers carrying water and um, protein vectuals and medical herbs uh, and jugs of Promotheum. But the crowd came to blows over the villain, uh, the blood was spilled, and many were uh, trampled and mauled. The monks fled beyond their walls, and rang, uh, and rang the Vox Alarum and shut the gate and commanded uh, the armed guards to keep watch over the gate, um, slaying any who approached. Okay, a quarrel broke out. Hungry and sick lay siege to the monastery, begging for help. In the spite, they blocked the water collector and unpowered the generator. The face full of, uh, in the meantime, made ready to resist, and the miracle came to pass. The god emperor sent his champion, his confidant, his right hand, the rogue trader of the blessed house of Valencia. May the light on his grain remain uh, upon forever. The blessed rogue trader uh, commanded his formidable boarding force to fall upon the interlopes and slay as many as they could be slain. Uh, extended the veil of protection over the interlopes, taping, uh, taking them, and they were offering uh, foul stone. Hmm. I like the iconoclast uh, option, and not the dogmatic one. But we're playing a dogmatic one, so let's follow that. And there was a great battle, and the accursed uh, miscredits lost their life in great numbers. The rest fled swiftly. And Prelate Hectarius sent a Vox transmission to the rogue trader. Uh, destroy us not, but extend a hand of protection over us. These wicked people will return to extract vengeance. The most exalted uh, trader gazed over the foul stone expanse in the course and says it's mine. All right, and the faithful rejoiced, for his hands was claimed the unwielding and mighty guardian, singing hymns of glory. After a prayer, the architect set to work in accordance to the saints' teachings, parameters set force in the template construct, and a new uh, yet righteous way of life came to Falstone, and the people rejoiced, and all was good. Oh, we got a colony. Yes, 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 on certain worlds, usually the most habitable, are suitable, uh, suitable for establishing thriving colonies and ripe the deployment. Completing uh, projects and colony events can earn rogue trader unique rewards that uh, cannot be obtained through any other means. 
projects are the backbone of colony development. Completing requires resources and can be obtained with other planets. Completing a project takes time while you continue your travel. Okay, so that's nice. Um, so a powerful influential cult is willing to take uh, the young and faith under their wing. Oh, that's a nice weapon. Armor penetration. That's a really nice weapon. Uh, the High Throne. Okay, I see. So, here we're getting Profit Factor. And the Drusarians like us. The High Throne. Profit Factor, lots of Holy Gergos. Uh, Lord Captain's Voidship gains the feature. 5% critical chance against Chaos. Celestial Protector, uh, Voidship gains plus 30% to Pow, uh, Prow Shield Sector. Okay. Holy Gifts, Profit Factor. But people would be complacent. Efficiency. Uh, increasing 10% for each point. Okay, I like the resource production and efficiency. I think that's good. Profit factor is good. Um, that flamer is nice as well. Uh, that here isn't bad either. I like, I like security. But let's execute on uh, that first. And let's what can we do? What else can we do? I see. Okay, so over time, how long will that take? For now, it seems to be going on. Okay, we don't need to fly here, but we essentially can always manage it. Not sure how long it, it will take to build that up, but the idea with the qualities is a nice one. Alright, and I think uh, that's a good uh, cliffhanger for now. Next time we're continuing our exploration. We're doing actually quite well for ourselves. We uh, have explored three systems, got our first colony, explored a hulk, a space hulk, and uh, we're on our way. We're very much on our way. Wow, that is a huge map. That's a very, very, very big map. Okay, but we're going to explore that uh, the next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I uh, truly appreciate it. If you want to explore the warp as well, there is one way of doing it. Click the like button and it'll give you a few uh, cartographic hints. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome back to uh, the blind playthrough of uh, Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and we are tackling unfair difficulty. Without knowing the game in advance, we're getting our ass handed to us, but so far it uh, mysteriously worked out relatively well. Uh, as always, we got our highs and lows. Um, let's travel to the Omicron system because that is what's going to happen today. Voxmaster Vigdiz comes in and says, Lost Captain, I hasten to report the disturbing news brought to me by the machine spirit of the ship. The matter is extremely delicate and concerns Lady Cassia. You see, since the first day on board, her presence has been a disturbance to the crew's way of life. Uh, if you'd allow, I have prepared a detailed report. 
All right, deliver me the report. First incident occurred immediately after the departure of Eurek uh, 5. Lady Navigator chastised one of the uh, ship's uh, runners, after which he went from his living quarters, killed his family, then shot himself. The second incident was noted whilst uh, traversing the warp. The Lady Navigator gave the pilots the wrong instructions, and the void ship was thrown, of course, for a matter of minutes, but it was enough uh, to force the Materium to anger the Machine Spirit enough to start a fire in the service bay. After that, um, officers uh, living near the Lady Navigator's quarters began to expre uh, express extreme emotions, hysteria, apathy, euphoria, rage. This is quite uh, detrimental to the cru uh, crew's morale. The last incident was recorded on the footfall. Around 100 living birds were delivered on board during our stay on footfall. Each bird cost a hefty sum, but I failed to discover their purpose in the subs and their subsequent fate. I was able to, to talk about uh, the conflict between the Lady Navigator and the Seneschal, alas, with no details. If you like, you can ask Master uh, Verstiren directly. Things are even worse with Jay. I intercepted a vo vo Vox cast, which she promised she would, and I quote, end that Kasha, if she ever saw her again. If a male lord captain, the navigator's state of mind worries me. She's uh, self-contained and does not mesh well with the crew at all, which is why everybody avoids her. Even the senior officers are su superstitious. I fear that only you in your position to talk to her on equal footing improve the situation for the sake of the crew's safety uh, and for the sake of uh, Lady herself. Okay, we're going to address that, but we're first charting out new routes. Uh, I like the system here. Potentially going to visit that afterwards. But before we're doing anything, uh, let's see. Got some space dust. All right, the magnetic storm raging above this planet blurs the glaze uh, of an auger array. Only the truly powerful Diviner machine may see through the current magnetic uh, fluctuations and the less vigil, and discovers the mysteries of an emperor-forsaken planet. The rogue terrier has uh, decided to leave this unwelcoming uh, home. Maybe he will return one day. Hmm. And of course, sparked my interest. We're beginning the next scan. And we got uh, the ruins of an ancient imperial city were discovered on a dead, uh, completely deprived uh, ecosystem world. According to the reports, the entire settlement is contained of a titanic glass dome that held an artificial atmosphere. Your orgers detect the framework uh, of three other similar structures that were never completed for whatever reason the dome system failed left behind the city a ghost that never managed to become a proper colony of the imperium okay order the scout to gather as many supplies as possible it's pretty damn impressive And the crew and we're getting trophies drain the remaining fuel explore the local palace and we got a ghost sword what does that do uh, armor penetration Let's double check uh, the weapon. Of course, it's a Xeno weapon. Whenever you find something that is cool to play around with, it's a Xeno weapon. Uh, do we have someone who can work with Xeno weapons? No, not in our main party. That's too bad. Nope. 
All right. Good, we got some plat steel. I like it. Double check, does that give us anything? Xenotech, Prometheum, no. Don't have either of that. And here we got a magnetic storm, which... One of the ship's few levers in, is in a poor state, okay. We need to inspect that. And we need to talk to the lady. Uh, and we can go back to uh, to deliver uh, the info of 10 planets to Opticon uh, Twin 2 and I'm going to do all of that but uh, since that's not a very uh, interesting material I'll just skim through the highlights and let you know what happened all right so we have uh, dealt with all of the small stuff of course the whole uh, problems with uh, our ship navigator weren't as bad but now we have been interrupted as we were warp traveling and the reason why we have been interrupted is because apparently lady theodora has been uh, spotted down here and who now designs to grace with their presence another gaggle of heretics and traitors thirsting to get in their due for what they have done or is it the leader himself who has finally grown tired of hiding behind others Rogue Trader, we meet at last. I have grown tired of you to uh, pay me a visit. Indeed, centuries of selfless toil and effort and everything I left behind has gone to the non-entity. Warp illusion, be gone. Agenda, my dear, there is no need to make such a fuss. Why do we sit down and have a cup of recap? Uh, like we used to. I'll listen to your rapturous tales and sacred relics. You must have been so lonely without me here. No one else is willing to listen to your ravings or help you with your childish treasure hunt. Throw and spare us with the cursed um, appreciations of our arch enemy. What are you? What you ask? Dare you say, little boy, I'm Theodora of Valencius. Rogue trader of the Empyrean and commander of this void ship. Alas, my glorious voyage through life has ended in the dullest possible way by my death. A nuisance I've, star uh, I've starved off as long as I could. But uh, do not weep for me, my boy. I'm still keeping my eye on my property and punishing all those uh, who have failed me. You're not Theodora. Theodora is dead and there is no coming back from that. I'm dead? How's that? are not so different from those who have yet not crossed over the divide between reality and eternity. I see, I speak, I remember the wrongs you've all committed against me, and for all of those who have failed me, I have already begun extracting my retribution. I am truly M. Theodora, the remains of herself that she has left behind. And tell me, who killed you? Oh, wouldn't you like to know the answer to that question? I do not even know which would be more satisfying to give you an honest answer or leave you in uh, your lang language in your ignorance hmm. we'll see how you conduct yourself where's idira and what have you done with me me what i've done with idira all i did was turn a little mud from the frigus into the true servant of an imperian what do you want with me Matters are so dire that the pleas of the uh, of the one of my servants breached the death wail reach to my ears. How could I ignore such a desperate cry for help from my little uh, idea, no less? Once I appeared here, of course, I had to meet the pretender who allowed uh, these deployable state of affairs. We'll send you back in the abysses where she cra came from. All of uh, all uh, of all of the people you threaten me, you're the most pathetic boy. 
I'm here to seek retribution against all who failed me, my brainless crew, my useless officers, my pathetic servants who turn their back on her mistress in her darkest auras. Uh, and worst of all, you, my dear heir, uh, heir, you have undeservedly claimed the warren that is mine. Okay, let's follow her. Not that her gibberish is any good, but... The world trembles beneath my feet. Let's see what we're dealing with. Got a couple of workers who, if my game theory is correct, Let's will soon turn into either demons or work against us. Where is she? I clearly remember her being around here somewhere. Hi, Diria. What is happening? And there you are with my little coward. Why won't you take a look at the captain, Idira? It's wrong. It's all wrong. Look at her, boy. My little idea is utterly trapped in her vision. No matter, I will allay you your doubts. Lord Captain, no wait, Lord Captain, Lady Valencia, you came back. Poor little Idira, there, there, how could I not come? You are crying for me so desperately, your pleas carried in the very depths of the warp itself. Why didn't you save me? Why didn't you warn me? Answer me, you insignificant wrench, or I'll direct the answer out of you myself. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. I could have heard anything to do with you. I'm sorry, Lord Captain. I failed. All right, let Argenta act. Oh, no. Listen, is she permanently gone? No way. Yeah, I'm going to intervene here. It's one of uh, the very, very few times that I'm going to do that. But I don't want any of the companions uh, to die. I want to uh, listen to their stories. So... Uh, for me, it wasn't 100% clear that that would lead uh, to her absolute demise. The breath of the Immaterium. I feel this. Good, we have done all of that. And we're now needing to follow. Uh, this time we're of course not going to let Idiria die. Although, if it wasn't for her being our companion, I think there could be a justification for, uh, for letting her die. Agenda stop. Idea snap out of it. Oh, come on, really? You need to now do tests in order to keep it. that quest design is a bit whack or i'm maybe not understanding it properly all right lord captain she says this time we succeeded on the same test chaos will devour you
Well, wonderful, Iberia, but uh, we will need to talk about that. Uh, this behavior needs to have consequences. Summoning chaos onto our ship, that's uncool. No matter how you are trying to explain it. Alright, this and that and Saiken positions himself here and we're going to here with Pascal. Alright, let's start the battle. Backline. Backline is the good line. Front line. And we got a little bit over here. Fantastic. So well 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 these workers still have 145 uh, hit points what do we have over here uh, these workers are pretty damn good but we're getting the demons down first war beast Do that and that, and we're protecting ourselves here. Then we're shooting. Good hit. And then we're just taking a shot position. So much for our cover. So much for our cover. Our branch uh, mm, says brace for impact, then moves up, then braces for impact, and uh, taunts all of these guys before giving an AoE attack. Here we go. Nice little brutal strike. And we Gucci. I like hitting multiple things, so hitting them down there would be great. This here wouldn't be bad either. I think we're okay. Let's go. Miss into pretty massive damage actually. guys do just have no weapons so uh Saka's just standing where he's at Free shot, good, good free shot, I like it. Taking another one.
And we just need to wait for more of these guys to come up. Right, Heinrich uh, begins to indeed move up here. That plus that plus a little bit of free opening here. Why is this anti-chaos uh, mm, nuke not dealing much more damage? Oh, it's hard to understand. Anyways, Heinrichs. Most the guy almost down. That's a good start. I like what I'm seeing. Good, let's move to here. We're doing that. We're getting this guy here. And a little stare later and everybody regrets their life choices. Lovely. Putting another one down there, for good measure. Moves to here. Let's hit these demons. Fantastic. That's the kill we've been waiting for. We're updating our zone here. And continuing to reduce the warp uh, damage here. Avalard heals himself and as you can see he's doing very well with that and we're just going to tank Saigon begins to harass workers. And forces them to come closer. I hate force grenades. Good, one down. Another good hit. And we're building up versatility. Six X. We're good.
that and that. Heinrichs uh, heals himself slightly and then very much hits uh, this guy. Should have opened him, aim, uh, aim for the opening uh, first. Uh, but that's okay. Heinrich gives that. And a little bit of that. Easy peasy kill. Yeah, we're way too far. We can't use. We can't use a lot of uh, mental powers now. Good. Um, uh, yeah, I could hit this guy. He's now exposed for a massive amount. I like that. And we're continuing to expose him even further. Thanks to our scouting. Pascal is doing a very good job here. Uh, Idira, please stop using your actions to cast. That's not a clever idea. Continuing to taunt, Abelard is doing well, just keeping uh, keeping them at bay. We got a new problem. I should really not use psychic abilities. Psychic is doing very well for himself, but the use of psychic abilities starts to pay divid uh, starts to take its toll here. One, two, three, and a med kit. Good. This guy is hopefully being taunted by Heinrichs, who is going to keep up very nicely. Um, listen, we need to mend reality. It's just too much elsewise.
Um, Mm, I think we're still giving Argenta the action. Good, because she now healed herself and we're good. Good, we're continuing to get that warp beast down. It's almost gone. That and that and that and we're continuing to hit. Ooh, the warp beast was almost dead. Fantastic. Fantastic. One war beast gone, two more to go. Matter of fact, we killed this one here as well. Good job, Saiken. Reload. Uh, and hit uh, we're not going to use uh, the heroic yet let's just give it a little bit more time Heinrich uh, moves up here that and that oh yeah see now this is what I'm talking about a little bit more damage 46 lovely good reduce the warp thank you Argenta shoots. And continues to hit. That's good. End of turn. And we're now giving Heinrichs the stage. Um, opening this guy. That's a parry. It's another parry. Come on, Heinrichs. Fortunate. Hate to see it. Another parry. Unbelievable. Five parries in a row. Alright. 
Abelard hits. There we go. Lord Captain, is it really you? Are you alright? This abomin abomination claims you have called her. Is that true? Me? Did I? Yes, Lord Captain. I think it was me who called her. I can barely remember the voices of the good whispers. Has anything like this happened to you before? Uh, like this? Never. Well, I was uh, something, but it was different. But Lady uh, Valesius knew about it. She said it's a small price to pay for an expensive, uh, acceptable expense. No psyker is immune to it. But what happened here? It was just a mistake. I won't do it again. There will be no more mistakes, Lord Captain. That is not the first time that this heretic has caused the death of a crew. Do you remember the incident in mid-deck, Idira? Uh, to be turned into mutants and attack your own family, you are a monster heretic. Shut up, quit your preaching. You're the worst out of everyone here. Wonderful. Sometimes a psyker's first manifestation leads to their death and the death of many others, but a psyker possesses inordinary willpower and discipline. They can staff and fall off for some time. Idira has been alive for many years already. But there are forces in the warp that will ultimately devour any psyche deprived of the Emperor's protection. The fact that uh, these manifestations are growing more powerful is a clear sign that the end is near. Yes, I can. I did it a couple of times when I had too much to drink. I thought I hear voices among the whispers in my head. The voices were uh, so sad, so clear I uh, couldn't help myself. I answered. I hoped I could have reached out to her there. You hear warp whispers in your head? Um, are you insane? Do you know what it's like? The most important person in your life who is gone forever starts suddenly talking inside of your head. So what am I supposed to do with you now, Saiken? I know after everything I've done, you have no faith in my willpower of strength, but I can fix everything. It's just I'm not the best, you see. But maybe there is a way to replace my implants or some other remedy, a better one. Lady Valencia said uh, that such a thing could be found, if not here, then elsewhere. I just didn't need it before, but we need to turn on to find it. We need to figure out where to look for it. I want to help you. We'll th uh, think of something. Thank you. Thank you, Saiken. I won't let you down. You make a mistake, Lord Captain. All right. Lord Captain, I received a report of a shooting at the lower deck had stopped. I presume you have brought the situation under control, awaiting further instructions. I got rid of the warp illusions, Idira is alive, bring her the, uh, to the Shirogans and uh, have them see to it. Of course, Lord Commander. Listen guys, uh, typically I don't like reloading, but I think that this quest design was not good. I will be honest, uh, typically when something as important as the death of a crew member is at stake it needs to be a little bit clearer and not just here's dogmatic go ahead with it that sucks all right uh let me level up all right um we got the ultimate powers for the different uh, new archetypes and some of them are very nice the Vanguard one, for instance, retaliates on every attack that he takes and every attack that um, a friend takes, so that's good. The Assassin gets a really nice finisher, Dispatch, with a lot of damage. I like the Grand Strategist one, because uh, they select an area, typically backline, and everybody in there gets an extra turn. Granted with low AP, but um, they still get an extra turn. And with the way that our damage dealers function, well, that's just essentially two extra turns in minimum plus themselves. Uh, the master technician one, uh, tactician one, 
uh, it selects a 3x3 three three, and everybody um, that can see that 3x3 three three field will start to basically uh, attack enemies. But the best one is from the Arch Militant called Steady Superiority. Mm. And it just lets you do a 0 AP extra attack every turn. That is so good because it benefits kind of that versi uh, versatility approach. And you can uh, stack versatility even higher. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty impressive. A pretty impressive option. Okay, wow. I wouldn't have thought uh, that we would be uh, dealing with such an intense uh, situation. Let me hand in the remaining stuff uh, at the uh, footfall station. And then I think we're uh, closing it for today. That was a, a good end, a very fitting battle. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed uh, the chaos bashing, then uh, leave a like and a comment down below. The only way to cleanse uh, this channel from potential chaos invasion is regular likes. It's almost like the golden throne of the emperor and uh, that is needed. So please do your, uh, do your part and help us to keep chaos at bay. Thanks a lot, have a good one and take care, bye bye.